Gym isn't finished. We've got a couple of things and basically in the next video, I'll explain what we have and why we have them and kind of how it fits in with this gym. But today, um, we had the equipment delivered yesterday. We're just gonna hit a gnarly home. The, the first workout here in the garage gym of our home. I can think of other things to do. <laughs> in and out within like 40 minutes, it's just a 30 minute workout. Minute one, we're just running for one minute on the curved runner at a comfortable-ish pace. And then straight into one minute max devil press, one minute rest, 10 rounds. Simple. The simple ones are the worst ones. One minute max devil press. Let's go. Don't leave anything to what if. Just go. First, there's one to remember, you know. Oh, it's two arms, not one. Two arm. arms, not one arm. Let's do this. Do you want to start and then finish first, or do you want me to start and not finish first? You know, it's a big thing. Do you want me to follow you or you follow me? I don't know what to do with my body. Got any pain slabs? Pain slabs. Yeah. Uh. Your rest is officially over, Craig. Yeah. I'm gonna tidy your equipment away. <laughs> oh gee, where's Jazz? That was really good. <laughs> this. The thing that I love about CrossFit and the thing that makes it so hard is like, you, really is like you could be an amazing runner and you could just smash that curve runner but then if you don't have good like muscular endurance and strength you're going to suck on the dumbbells and then the same thing with if you're really really strong that run is just going to get you and you'll be alright on the dumbbells but it really got my shoulders the devil press and it made running you look absolutely jacked. horrible I love mixing weights in with the cardio because a lot of the time in CrossFit, you need that balance and you need to be good at lifting weight and getting it out of breath and then carry on with the cardiovascular. And I'm just not very good at that. So we won't get better at it. I did 10, 10, 10, 8, 8, 9, all eights and then a nine to finish. Oh, nice. So I don't, I don't really know what that was. Yeah. What do you get? <laughs> you said like half, so I saw Jazz moving the dumbbell pretty fast and I looked over to her and I was like, what are you getting? And she was getting, she was like eights. And I was like, crap, I'm getting eights. <laughs> you were killing it. I didn't kill it. You did. First fist bump of the garage. Oh. Hey, we can fist bump. Hey, wait, hold on. That's nice. First snail <laughs> of the garage. Oh, I knew you were going to do that as well, but I kind of let you do it so I didn't ruin it. <laughs> I did six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, six. The two eights killed me. Seven, seven, eight. Eight. I don't know what that is, but it was enough. No word of a lie team. This morning, Jazz spent about an hour and a half at, in pets at home. She's, it was, it was an hour and a half. It wasn't 10 minutes. She spends more time in pet shops than she does actually food shopping or shopping for anything else. This morning's uh, purchase. She thinks that the dog is so much fun though. We've got a puppy paddling pool. Your dog is so spoiled. Carla, what is it? You're just jealous. You just wish you had one. She's not wrong. She's already in it. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my word, you are so cute. Team, she also this morning did that thing that, you know, every dog does want. The edge of the, the, edge of the riverbank, you know it's deep and you just watch them go back and forth and you know they're going to put a paw to try and test it out and fall in and she tested it out and fell in. Today was that day. It was fun. Hello, Carla. 
Are we digging? Are we digging in the water? Hey, we're in. We're in. Ow. Friday. Today's the day that we're starting putting some work in on the office. Uh, where's the office, Carla? Find the office. This is not the office. It's like get no, that's not the Yeah, that's that's where the office is. Hello, Look at this team. Um got some artwork today. Nobody cares, work harder. It was, it was like my, when I saw it, I was like, I have to have it. So then I messaged this company on Instagram that do them. They work with like Gary Vaynerchuk and stuff. You know, like the guy that's uh, he's just a businessman. Um motivational speaker kind of guy. So I messaged them and they were like, my well, girl's telling me I've gone up 10 flights of stairs today. Wait. Wait, so basically up here five times. Basically I got in touch with them, I was like, oh, I love the canvases. And they were like, oh, cool, um, you're an influencer. It's weird saying that, isn't it? It's like, influencer, I just make videos. Me and Jazz like. You, you keep talking like we're from Yorkshire, but we're not. You keep thinking we're in the north. We're still in the Midlands, Craig. See, the thing is, team, obviously, I've come the from the Midlands bingo. and we've gone north. Uh, than Norfolk. Yeah, well, like, you know what I mean? Like we're not in the north, but we've gone Norfolk. So they they speak a bit more like this. They miss words. So when they say like where I was, I would say like we're going to the castle. They'd go going to castle. <laughs> so I'm trying to learn the lingo up here so I can really fit in with the crew. Go Tesco's. Go on Tesco's. <laughs> yeah. So basically, then they were like, cool. Um, we'll send you a couple of more bits. Which is, so we got the mindset as everything with the little goldfish. You know, you got a little fish, but you you think like a shark. That's why you just got to keep going. And I just thought this was just cool. And... What do you think, Carla? And this way too, we've got the first thing in the guest room. So I thought like, that was another piece that they sent as well, which was like... Don't worry, keep hustling. Fits perfect actually on that wall. Yeah, I love it. Look, similar as well, isn't it? Very similar. Yeah. Almost like you and the canvas are at one. Yeah. And then they were like, here's a link. So basically that'll be the first thing in the description and if you click through that link and you can use the code RICHIE15 in capitals to get 15% off, they were like, oh, it supports you too. So it'll kick back and support us, which is super cool. Hey, yeah, I know. Yeah, and they get 15% off the canvases, which who doesn't want 15% off? I never really liked doing links and stuff like that, but for things that I, I love, I'm like, this is cool. You get 15% off and you get to support us if you really want to get something for your home office or you want something to go on your wall. Get the nobody cares work harder poster and tag me in it because I think that's just super cool. I, that hits me in the feels. Some of the motivational stuff I just I don't get, but that one is like, look, no. Honestly, the one thing I have learned from doing YouTube is like, especially when you do it at the start, literally nobody cares. You just have to keep working and keep working and keep working. And we were saying to someone we were talking to the other day, it was like it was weird to think that for literally five years, I've made probably minimum three videos a week. Which is like every other day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And sometimes I have to th I have to not think about making vlogs in the future because if I think like, oh, damn, I have to make three videos a week for I don't know how long I'm ever going to do it. You know, like it can be overwhelming too. You're like, whoop, that's a lot of work. But um, and, and like, and now we're here and we're in this situation with you guys and we're coming up to 300,000 subscribers, which is just like... That's mad. It's just mental. Like, it's honestly, I don't even, I can't even fathom how much that is. But it's just, uh, uh, we're still us, you know? Just with the mightiest of teams. Uh, this is a table. We don't know if we're gonna like it. 